one day after tie polls, the ballots have been counted. A result and turnout has still to be announced, but whatever the outcome, this election is unlikely to change anything. Prime Minister Yin Luxinawat is almost certain to return to power, but it won't end the country's turmoil. The main opposition didn't even vote, and protesters like these blocked balloting in a fifth of constituencies across the country. The disruptions mean it could be weeks before parliamentary seats are filled, leaving Yin Luk a caretaker with no real authority. But demonstrators remain defiant, saying Ying Luk's government is controlled by her brother Taksin, a former prime minister who's wanted for corruption. Led by Sithep Thaukseman, they have rallied in Bangkok since November when Ying Luk tried to pass an amnesty law that would allow her brother to return from exile. Thai people were against yesterday's elections. We disagree with this unfair and unjust elections. They are buying votes. People want reform. That is why yesterday's election saw the largest reduction in voter numbers in Thai history. Now they're packing up and moving camp, but not because they're giving up. Sithep blames security problems for the move. And despite appearances, these protesters vow to continue marching until Ying Luck resigns and makes way for an unelected People's Council to reform the political system.